Hi, John here, and we're uh, continuing on the journey here of trying to find the best possible expired domains. Uh, the niche that we're using as our case study is a, a gourmet food niche. So say we have um, uh, either a niche website or a small business website in the uh, gourmet niche um, or gourmet food niche, and we're trying to boost it up the search engine ranking. And so we're looking to get some quality expired domains to help make that happen. So this video is about uh, the easiest free way to do that to find domains that are available free to register. So the tool that I uh, highly recommend, I have no association with them, but they're uh, completely free, is expireddomains.net. So head over to expireddomains.net, create your free account, and then you come in and you have two options. You can look at the auctions here, or you can look at the deleted domains. Deleted domains means that they are free to register, so you just need to pay your registration fee at wherever your host is, whether that's at Namecheap, GoDaddy, or any of the other ones. So deleted domains, go there, and then the first thing you do is go to deleted.com. There's 1.8 million expired domains here that we could register if we wanted to, and you can search through each of these at 74,000 pages. So what expired domains is great at is the filtering that they have. So it's some pretty phenomenal filters here. So we're looking in the gourmet food niche. So we're gonna put in gourmet first, and then if we don't get what we want, we'll come back and change that as needed. So domain contains gourmet. Uh, there's a bunch of other options here that you can play with. I like to select uh, no fake PRs. I also like to select a minimum backlinks of one. So you can select minimum page rank of one or, or higher if you want. Um, I, I prefer to look at the backlink profile, so I'll get a page rank zero or negative one if it has a good backlink profile. So I don't like to filter that out. And the minimum site results of one, that's important, so we know that the site is still indexed. Head over to additional filter. And then uh, you can enter the um, TLDs here that if you want additional ones free, so you want to buy a multiple, but that you don't need to worry about that. You can select the English language if you wanted to. Uh, I'll, I'll leave that all open. And then this one's pretty great when you can uh, filter by this. So minimum page authority of 10. So that means that Moz has looked at, through the Open Excite Explorer tool, has looked at the page and says that uh, it will have a minimum page authority of 10. So just a good way of filtering out the, the bad sites. So now that we've done all that, we've got 1.8 million uh, domains. We'll apply the filter and we'll see if we get any. So it's thinking and we've got three. Uh, it says when they expired, and then it says there the number of, um, so this number of backlinks, the number of domains linking to the site, and the number of pages indexed. So the way I like to filter it is uh, the most number of uh, sites that are linking to it, and then I like to go here, and then I just open those up in a new tab. So I'll, I'll keep, I'll scroll through all of these, open all the ones that I want to look at, and then go have a look at them. So then I'll uh, keep going through and looking at uh, all the previous months and seeing any any that have above 10 here or page rank. I'd like to have a look at and see what what's happening there. Uh, so this one. Is, likely not a very good one because of how few backlinks it has, but it might be worth a, a little bit more investigation. And so now I just go through, probably open up, um, you know, probably probably 10 to 15 here based on the rate that I'm going here that I'll find. The dot coms always have the most, that's why it's been broken down into multiple um, timings, so how long ago it was. So I'm looking for sites here that have a, a DP greater than 10. And then I'm going to keep scrolling through. Uh, I skip over some of these uh, extensions. Okay, so that's, uh, we've got four that we found here, five that we found. So then I, I go to Majestic SEO, uh, sign in for with a free account. 
Okay, so I pause. I pause there for a quick second to uh, sign in, and then uh, now I'm going to keep going through and look at the backlink profile. So what I'm looking for here is right here the citation flow and the trust flow. This is how popular a site is and how trustworthy a site is. So this is not a good one. So I'm going to just close that, and then you. You'll need to keep clicking on each of these three options to see if there's one that uh, that meets your needs. Again, this one I do not like. It's a very low trust flow. Yeah, again, not a very good one. All right, so I'm looking for 15 and 15 kind of as my minimum. But this one's looking a little bit better. Okay, there we go. So 23 and a 15. Not not a great domain, but it's got 56 backlinks, 13 referring domains. Um, so it, it's it's worth looking at a little more, especially based on the the quality that we've been able to find so far. So that's it. That's basically it that we found. So uh, we'll we'll take a quick look in archive.org and see what the site used to be. So you can see it was active from 2003 to 2008 as an entity. And so we'll see what it was during that time. So it was the Wolfgang Puck Gourmet Lattes. So I, I don't see any trademark name up here. If, if I did, I would probably not get it. Um, yeah, so just Wolfgang Puck is a registered um, trademark. So as long as you're website is not duplicating Wolfgang Puck or doesn't have that name anywhere. I, I think, I'm not a lawyer, but I think you'd be okay. And then uh, we'll do a, a check at Open Site Explorer and see what the metrics there show. So it's got a page authority of 30. So, oh. Um, it's important to check for spam and uh, if there's a few ways of checking for spam if you, there, if you see any of the anchor text that have um, pharmaceutical gambling or porn in it then you know it's been picked up and it's been spam um, been used as spam and if you see foreign language it sometimes means it's been used as spam as well um, but I'm not sure about this one because it only. I'm I'm not sure about this that this one has been used to spam. It looks like it's a pretty clean profile. Yeah, I I would I would say based on that search so far that it it would show up as a I would call this a, a clean backlink profile. Majestic SEO has the largest backlink profile, so I tend to kind of trust them uh, with what they what they see. Self heating coffee. Okay, so it's same. I wasn't sure that, if that was something different, but it's all all the backlinks here associated with the with the uh, um, main reason for the site with the theme of the site. So I don't see any any anchor text spam. So I would say that here we have found a a decent backlink, a decent website. Yeah, probably won't be a you know a really high page rank or anything, but it uh, it would be a very relevant website to uh, build as a part of a feeder site network. Uh, so the next step I would do is uh, sort of repeat that process but change this around for food and then see if that that's probably going to be a more general term that will result in a, a larger number of sites um, but doesn't seem to have created uh, a lot better. So then basically I just go through the exact, that exact same process and see if I could find anything. But for the sake of this, um, that one looks pretty decent actually. Let's have a quick look here, just for fun. Uh, so when you see this, a whole bunch of really crappy links down here, that usually is an indication that it was uh, used as spam either initially or at some point in time. So yeah, that's, that's a pretty good, you wanna see a nice kind of balanced profile up here. You don't want to see a whole bunch down here in the low trust um, side of the graph. 
So you can go down and look at the anchor text. So we're seeing by cheap advert. Uh, yeah, so this has been used. So it's got both um, foreign language links and it's got pharmaceutical links. So this has been clearly used as spam. So that kind of covers off this video, and then uh, we'll go through some more um, some more powerful techniques at finding even better domains in this one. But for the purpose of this, I would call this a, a success at finding a website that has um, a relevant website that has backlinks and authority. Thanks.